in the shuffle, Jeff Burton has fallen to six. Ward Burton leads, Nemechek second, Jeff Bodine third, Ricky Webb fourth, Morgan Shepard in fifth as you ride with Bodine in third spot. And the number eight car of Jeff Burton is six. Now the seven car getting around 41 Nemechek. Up to second comes Bodine. Here's the seven. Here's your 31. Ward Burton just in front of him. Wally Dollenbach sandwiched in between. Laps complete. 194 when they hit the start finish line this time by. Leader, 31. Ward Burton, second place. Jeff Bodine. That's the chase. Ward Burton out of Scottsburg, Virginia. That's the way he looks to Jeff Bodine. From on top, that's the interval between first and second. On to pit road, again comes car number two. Rusty Wallace back in seventh spot. Counted out of the hunt for the overall win today. Still out there, still scoring points heavily. This point battle continues to change so dramatically. Seven, moving in on 31. Jimmy Spencer dives down to the bottom. The 31 stays in the lead, but here comes Bodine after. Well, Jeff's after right now. Riding with Jeff Bodine as he tries to take command of this race another time. Remember, he won this race with Junior Johnson back in 1990. He's been around in the finish a lot of times. Loves this racetrack. The rookie, Ward Burton, stays in front. Bodine in second. When they come by, there will be five laps to go. Here's Bodine sweeping to the inside. Yeah, he's quite a bit quicker. That's what they need to run him back down. Ward's car is a little bit loose right there. Now he is in a jam because he doesn't know if he's got enough fuel. So, Jeff Bodine looks like he has him covered at this point. Got out faster than anyone else there. Apparently got enough fuel to bring it home. Here's number 10 on pit road. Randy Pemberton waiting right now for Ricky Rudd. Five laps left to play it out in the Miller Genuine Draft 500. Well, they're gonna take in three seconds of fuel. They've already conceded they're running fourth. There's no way they can win this race, so they might as well make sure that they go to the end. There's three seconds and Rudd's gone. So, unless something untoward happens to car number seven, Jeff Bodine is on his way to his 50th career win. His second win here in this 500 at Pocono, Pennsylvania, as he gets ready for Talladega, Alabama next week. Jeff Bodine, who sat on the pole, who has dominated the event, Staying in first. And Ward Burton trying to hang on to him for a second place finish. Yeah, Ward's got to be thinking save gas right now. You know, take what I can get. I'm a beat man right now. I'm ahead of the third place car, but I guarantee you he's watching that fuel pressure gauge and they're telling him to do it every lap. Barry, that's absolutely the question. You know, I was wondering if once Jeff passed him, if he would not decide to pit, considering he could not win the race at that point. Go ahead and pit. Make sure he didn't run out of fuel and end up finishing 10th. But that's not the case. Ward's going to stay out there. They told him, do not race Jeff Bodine. Let's try and ride this thing out and see if we can finish second. So they're going to gamble even for second. Looking for his best Winston Cup career finish. He had four Bush Grand National wins. Ward Burton, Scottsburg, Virginia driver, 32 years of age, staying right there in second. Nima check back to third. What a day he's having for the Hedrick team. Jeff Burton up to fourth. Morgan Shepard lies fifth. I bet these laps are long for Ward. There are only three, but that's three minutes. A lot of people don't realize it. That's a long time to be running. Rusty Wallace now shown a lap down in eighth position. Morgan Shepard about to put him a lap down. Battle further back in the field. This for 15th. There you see that Penzo car of Michael Waltrip that started in the last row today. He and Terry Levante 
after fighting it out for 15th spot in the final moments. Back up front. With Bodine. Coming by and a two-lap indicator on the field for Jeff Bodine as he hits the strike. And Ward Burton stays with him. Wouldn't that be something for a rookie to get himself a second-place finish here? Hoosier cars are now running first, second, third, and with Jeff Burton, fourth. Field breaks down as a Ford in first, Chevrolet of Ward Burton in second, Nemechek Chevy in third, and the Ford of Jeff Burton in fourth. Ward Burton holding on to that second spot. He's not backing off either. I mean, he's not that far from Jeff. So, uh... There you see that interval, and now Jeff Bodine lengthens it out a little as he heads for the white flag. It's been a nail-biter here at the finish of the Miller Genuine Draft 500 from Pocono, Pennsylvania today, about to lap that 15th place battle. And look at 5 and 30, still at it. White flag is out as Labonte gives it everything he's got in his fight with Michael Waltrip. Gets in between them now. like Jeff Bodine's willing to stay right there. Get a little bit of a hitchhike. No, looks inside, pulls back out at that tunnel turn. He, he's happy there now. He's real happy there, and so is Ward. Takes a shot in that short straightaway, leading to turn three. Goes underneath Michael Walter. They can continue their war for half a lap for that 15th position. But it's Jeff Bodine who's going to write the story here today. 15th career win is half a straightaway away. Down this 3,700-footer he comes. And Jeff Bodine is going to win again. Another guy with his own team has pulled it off. The Exide Batteries, car number seven, has won the 500 at Pocono, Pennsylvania, before a record crowd this afternoon. And Ward Burton, a rookie on the Winston Cup Tour, is going to come home second, one and two-tenths of a second behind. You'll meet the winner, Bodine, in a moment. Well, Jeff Bodine has just jumped on the roof of the car and then kissed Bob Newton. What's it feel like to be a winning car owner and driver? Oh, I wish Kathy was here. That's what I feel like. Uh, hey, honey, you came to the wrong race. She was at the first race. You should have came here. I love you. We're going to be home tonight. We're going to celebrate. Bob, get in here. This is a team effort. I tell you, the, the XI team, Bob Newton, Hoosier. You know, he's been criticized all year long for getting back into Winston Cup racing. Said he couldn't do it. Hey, we did it, didn't we? They think you're ready for retirement. Well, what do you have to say? How bad did you not want to make that last pit stop and just stay out there? Well, we, we knew we couldn't stay out. We had to get gas, so I, I had to come in. But we were far enough ahead, and they had a, a quick stop, just a little gas and go. I caught uh, a ward and just sat there and saved fuel. But, hey, this is a great day for Exide, uh, Montgomery Water, Auto, Auto Express, Napa. Hey, you know, you can buy these good Hoosier street tires in Auto Express just like we ran today. <laughs> and this is pandemonium down here at Victory Lane with Jeff Bodine. Oh. From the Purillator winner, from the Purillator's winner's circle today, top four finishers all on Hoosier here. Earnhardt leading the Winston Cup standings by 93 points over Ernie Urban after this exciting and dramatic Miller Genuine Draft 500. Back with more of the story from Pocono in a moment. 